Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca back into the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to go over three 87 bronze icon to 92 silver icon upgrades, and it's Ray Bork, Paul Coffey, and Marcel Dion. Give them in-depth true reviews, rate them one through five Chewies. Let's get into it. Ray Bork. The longtime Boston Bruins defenseman Ray Bork, 5'11", 220 pounds, left-handed shooting. He has two points for barrage, two points for workhorse for his team and player synergies. His skating is 88 acceleration with 91 agility, 90 balance, 87 endurance, and 88 speed. The workhorse will help his acceleration, balance, and endurance, so it's a pretty big Player synergy when it comes to skating attributes as well as will give you durability. The barrage is going to give you slap shot accuracy, slap shot power, offensive awareness, and aggression. Moving on to the bumped up attributes that barrage helps here is his slap shot accuracy is 92, wrist shot power is 92, with slap shot power at 93 and wrist shot accuracy at 94. So a very good shot by Ray Bork, which makes sense as he was an elite point score in the NHL for a defenseman while he was playing and he's also very good defensively his hands are 94 deking 96 offensive awareness 93 hand eye with 97 passing and 94 puck control back to getting those points the passing at 97 that is elite in the game right now for his defense he has 87 body checking 91 strength with 86 aggression his checking category is 97 defense awareness 90 shot blocking 93 stick checking in 87 discipline this ray bork does not have the best team synergy but his attributes are phenomenal he can get up to 91 speed which isn't the fastest but it's more than sufficient especially for a high-end card mostly because his acceleration can get up to 95 with workhorse activated as well as having spark for a team synergy which could be huge the rest of his attributes are phenomenal as you can see that 97 defense awareness with 93 stick checking is absolutely great on top of the great shooting in hands i'm gonna give this ray bork four and a half chewies the biggest reason he's not getting five chewies is his team synergy of barrage is not that great and it hurts the car just a little bit but honestly if you can work around the fact that you don't need his points for barrage for team synergies at all and you can kind of use his position just for the workhorse he's a phenomenal defenseman i think he could easily make anybody's defensive core could be worth getting a pickup on your team Paul Coffey. One of the best, if not the best, offensive defensemen to ever play in the NHL. Paul Coffey, six foot tall, 205 pounds, left handed shooting, was part of the Oilers dynasty and then came over to the Pittsburgh Penguins in the early 90s and won some Stanley Cups there as well. He has two points for distributor, two points for thief. His skating is 91 acceleration, 91 agility, 90 balance, 87 endurance with 90 speed. What the distributor does do is it gives you speed, passing, puck control, and durability, which means that this Paul Coffey can get up to 93 speed as well as 95 acceleration if you have spark on your team. The Thief gives you stick checking and faceoffs. Obviously, he's a defenseman, so he's never going to use faceoffs, but his stick checking gets maxed at 99 with the Thief. Moving on from the skating, we look at his shooting. He has 95 across the board, other than his slap shot because he's at 94. So he has a phenomenal shot, one of the best, which makes sense because Paul Coffey was an elite goal scorer from the back end of any team, whether it was the Oilers or the Penguins. Also for his hands, he has 92 deking, 98 offense awareness, 92 hand eye, 96 passing, and 94 puck control. So phenomenal hands. 89 body checking, 90 strength. For his checking category, he has 96 defensive awareness, 88 shot blocking, 95 stick checking with 62 faceoffs and 77 discipline. So the discipline's a little bit low, and that's probably the only downside of this card at all. The rest of the card is absolutely nasty. He has the premier synergy of distributor, and the thief is really not that bad defensively as well, as there's some other guys like Jean Beliveau. Or if you have Matt Sundin and have Thief, that he would complete the Thief with them. And that would boost their faceoffs up to plus five, as well as making their stick checking better. This Paul Coffey, I don't think anyone can argue this based on his attributes, as well as his synergies. He's five chewies. I think he might be the best defenseman, 87 to 92, that comes out in the game. He plays phenomenally for his 87 overall. His skating is great. His animations are amazing. This Paul Coffey is a must-have on your team if you're going to get any of these guys that are bronze to silver icon upgrades. Marcel Dion. 
I think this card is going to be one of the most slept on, not talked about cards on these upgrades from 87 and 92 bronze and silver icons. This is Marcel Dion. He's 5'9", 190 pounds, right-handed shooting. And he's very solid at that 5'9". Even though he's short, he is stocky in stature. And I really love the way this card skates and plays in his 87. And I think his 92 is going to be absolutely filthy. He has two spark. Two, light the lamp. The spark gives you acceleration, body checking, strength, and discipline at plus four. The light the lamp gives you balance, wrist shot accuracy, offensive awareness, and hand eye. I will say that for this Dion, the light the lamp doesn't get any offensive awareness because he's already maxed at 99. Looking at his attributes with no synergies activated, he has 91 acceleration, 92 agility, 89 balance, 88 endurance with 91 speed. So a phenomenal skater. He can top out at 95 acceleration and 94 speed. So he's going to be very fast. He's going to be solid and sturdy. Really like the way his skating is on this card. Then for his shot, 95 across the board with 93 slap shot power. Great shot. Something to look out for. He's going to be a monster if you leave him open. Sniping corners. Very, very good looking card. For his hands, he has 99 deking, 99 offensive awareness, 95 hand eye, 98 passing, and 98 puck control. So he has some of the best hands in the game. They're almost maxed. Then his defensive category, 83 body checking, 89 strength. The body checking is a little bit low, but that's okay. You're not getting Dion to hit people. You're getting Dion to score goals, to set players up, to back check, to be a fast skater. A guy that is one of those agile guys comparative to the Aguila Fleur, Yvonne Cornoyer, somebody like that. You're not getting Dion to crush people into the boards or in open ice. Checking category is going to be 94 defensive awareness, 87 shot blocking, 97 stick checking with 89 faceoffs and 58 discipline. The discipline, I will openly admit, is a little concerning. However, it is a great stick checking number and great defensive awareness. So whether he's playing center or on the wing, he can definitely pressure people. I will say 89 faceoffs is not the best, but it's suitable for a bottom six forward. Or you could even maybe play him on your second line. I don't know if he would be your number one center. I think guys like Sean Couturier are still the premier first line center, in my opinion. Maybe Joe Sackey gets the bump over Dion on the first line center, if I'm even talking about 87s and 92s. But this Dion has great synergies. He has amazing attributes. I'm going to give him five Chewies as well, just like that Paul Coffey. I do think the Paul Coffey would be a guy you upgrade before Dion if you have both of them. But I think this card is nasty. And a card that's going to be relatively overlooked, especially for a guy that has Spark. Most of the time, the guys with Sparks are hard to find, hard to sell. I picked one of him up a week and a half ago with 87 overall for 70K, knowing that he was going to get an upgrade and knowing how good of a card he was going to be. And that's why he's getting the five Chewies, is because he is a phenomenal card. That's going to wrap up the Chewy reviews of Ray Bork, Paul Coffey, and Marcel Dion. Their 87 bronze to 92 silver icon upgrades. All three of these guys are very, very good cards. If I had to rank them one through three, I'm going Coffee, Dion, and Bork. But I think Coffee and Dion separate themselves from the Bork, and the Bork is also a very good card. I really think some of you guys, maybe not now because of the auction house, but I mentioned Dion before, whether it was in my Discord or I maybe mentioned him in a team review here or there, about how good this Dion potentially could be because of the fact that he does have Spark. Spark is a hard synergy to get. And his attributes that are underlying are very, very good for an 87. It's just the fact that he's right-handed and he doesn't have the same big name as like a Temu Solani. That he wasn't getting the same push that Solani was. But if you have the on and Solani, they both have Spark. They both have Light the Lamp. You'll actually activate the Light the Lamp for them, which will give you wrist shot accuracy. Which is something to think about, as well as the offensive awareness. It's just something to think about. Maybe getting Solani and Dion both upgraded at the same time. I definitely do think that Paul Coffey's up there with Joe Sackick, though, as a must-have. A guy you need to upgrade from his 87 to his 92 as soon as possible. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about these three players. Do you think that they got fair Chewy ratings? Do you guys think that Coffee's automatically better than Dion? Or maybe there's somebody out there that thinks Dion is the best out of these three cards. Or maybe someone thinks Bork is better than Coffee. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, I appreciate all of the support that you guys give me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with any of your friends that play NHL 21. So we can continue to grow the community. You guys have a great day and be safe.